The new film, Give or Take, will definitely pull at your heartstrings, starring Tony winner Norbert Leo Butts as Ted, who's dealing with the loss of his partner. But when his partner's son arrives, the two embark on a journey to learn about the man they both loved. Take a look. He acts like it's his house and I'm the guest. Make yourself at home. I'm gonna give my... It was my father's house, now it's my house. This is simple. Well, I guess I should thank you. What? For showing me exactly where I stand in all this. Mr. Frank expressed his wishes to be cremated. Yes. No. Oh boy, and there it goes. And Norbert joins me now. Welcome, Norbert. Good to see you. You too. This is such a sweet movie. Yeah. Um, I, just tell us a little bit about Ted, who you play, and about this story that we're seeing. Yeah, Ted is a, a recently um, widowed guy, although he wasn't legally married to his partner, but they'd had a long romance. Um, a middle-aged gay man whose partner has died um, after a short illness, and he's adrift, you know. Yeah. He's grieving, and he's just beside himself and uh, his partner's grown son, estranged grown son, comes back and they have to make these decisions about the estate and the house and what to do with the ashes, these yeah. things that everybody can relate to. Everyone. That's, That's what what's I was... the beautiful thing about the movie. Yeah, yeah. I was think thinking that too when I was watching it. It's, it is something that, that everyone can relate to because it's these two guys that are really not seeing eye to eye and no. they help each other through this loss. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what drew me to this story, honestly, sir. It's like this idea that, especially from the how divisive our country is and the pandemic, it, it's a sweet film without being so sweet it makes your teeth hurt. You without, know what being I'm saying? without being sticky. Without being sticky sweet. Yeah. It's about people helping each other, you know, like the idea that kindness is still like something that's not uh, a negative thing. I it's know. actually can be a good thing. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, people want to help each other out. Yeah, and these two do. guys, even though they are antagonistic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there's, you know, it's a layered film, too, because there is humor. It's complicated. It's emotional. Yeah. For you, I mean, you've done everything, and I am such a huge fan of yours, but you're good at it all. But what do you like doing? Do you like doing the funny moments? Do you like doing the heartfelt, hard, challenging moments? Well, I don't try to think of it in terms of you know, either or what what I do look for in this role of, of Ted it exemplifies that is a character that has an arc, you know, that starts off at A and, and has to get further down the alphabet in the course of the story. Yeah. So you see a change in the person, a transformation even, even in, in subtle ways. Yeah. I think that's what we're all doing in life all the time. Yeah. And that's what I look for is a journey to go on. Yeah. Well, you've got another project uh, do, about yes. to launch in March on Hulu. It's the girl from Plainville. Tell me a little bit about the story, the trailer was just released, and, and who you play. This is was an extraordinary um, opportunity for me, a very difficult shoot. Um, Girl from Plainville is the true crime story of M Michelle Carter and the suicide um, of Conrad Roy Jr. This was a big story in the media. Mm. Um, there was a HBO documentary called I Love You Now Die. Yeah. Um, and it's been turned into a, a, an eight part series, very, very beautifully, sensitively directed with the incomparable Elle Fanning, who is a double for this girl. Yeah. I play the, the father of the boy who commits suicide. So an, another show about grief, ah. loss, um, and uh, it, it, a, a warning um, a, about what, what digital social media ah. is doing to yeah. To, to the culture and to yeah. the young culture specifically. Yeah, we could talk forever about that, but I do want to talk about something positive. Please. Which is Broadway. Uh, y you know, you are only one of nine actors who have gotten uh, best lead actor, uh, for getting a Tony for that. I saw you in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. <laughs> I saw you in Catch Me If You Can. I saw you in My Fair Lady. You're so good at everything. Thank are we going to see you on Broadway anytime soon? Because it's coming back. It's calling your name, Norbert. It is, and I'm getting excited. And and I and without naming titles or anything, I have done two workshops of, of new musicals lately. So a couple things that are in the beginning stages, I would love to. It really yeah. is where I feel the most at home. Yeah. I get to do everything that I can do. Yeah. Um, and everybody's ready for it again. I know. And you know I'm what? I'm hungry for it. When you are going back on Broadway, can you come back and tell us all about it? 100%. All right. Well, you can catch Give or Take currently in select theaters and available on digital and DVD on February 22nd.